The highway rat was a baddie. The highway rat was a beast. He took what he wanted and ate what he took. His life was one long feast. His manners were rough and rude. <laughs> and the highway rat went riding, 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 riding along the highway and stealing the traveler's food. Because if you do, the big bad mouse will be after you. I met him once, said the Gruffalo. I met him a long, long time ago. What does he look like? Tell us that. Is he terribly big and terribly bad? Um, I can't quite remember. The Gruffalo said. <laughs> then he thought for a minute and scratched his head. <sighs> The big bad mouse is terribly strong. Terribly strong. And his scaly tail is terribly long. Terribly long. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire. Terrible fire. And his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. Why? The big bad mouse is terribly strong. And his scaly tail is terribly long. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire. And his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. 
<laughs> the big bad mess. One snowy night, when the Gruffalo snored. The Gruffalo's child was feeling bored. <laughs> never, never... Play with, with the, the snooze. <clears throat> Bill, like the other smooths, was blue. And these were the words of Grandmother Smoo. Never, never play with the smeds. They have strange hair upon their heads. They sleep in funny things called beds. Never, never, never play, play with the smeds. <laughs> the smeds on their lake liked nothing better than splashing about getting wetter and wetter. <laughs> But Janet grew bored of this watery play. And that was the reason she tiptoed away. The smooths jumped about on their humpty hill. They bounced up and down it and never stood still. But Bill was beginning to think... This is boring. And that was the reason he set off exploring. Janet met Bill in the Werpula Wood, where the truckles grew tall and the glompons smelled good. <laughs> Pearl! Just then, a little girl came by. Oh, please don't cry, she said. Perhaps you'd like a 
Ooh, nice sticky plaster for your head. That's a good idea, said Zog. <laughs> then up and off he flew, his plaster gleaming pinkly as he zigzagged through the blue. A year went by, and in year two, the dragons learned to rule. you've been shown, you can practice on your own. And you'll all be champion roarers by the time you're fully grown. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said, as the witch tied her plait in a bow, <clears throat> I... Um, I am a bird, as green as can be. So the bird fluttered on. <laughs> the witch tapped the broomstick. <laughs> Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee. And the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. Woo! They searched for the wand. Could be found. 